I think、uh, they targeting to the Asian American community. We need the black community to realize that the that black people are hurting the Asians and. They need to speak out in their own community.、Mm-hmm. It's racism directed against Asians. Most of the perpetrators, if not all, in recent cases, are are, are black men. There's recently been a huge uptick in assaults against Asian Americans. And despite what the left may try to tell you, no, this is not the fault of white supremacy. Want to know how I know that? Well, most of the attackers in these cases have actually been black. And now trying to blame white people for black people. Attacking Asian people is a level of mental gymnastics that honestly is only possible in 2021 because it seems like society has collectively lost their mind. Another mass shooting in America over the weekend. This time at a church in California, one person was killed, five others were wounded, and the FBI tonight now revealing it is investigating this shooting as a hate crime as well. Tonight, we hear from the pastor. He describes how he and the parishioners took down the 68-year-old suspect and tied him up. ABC's chief national correspondent Matt Gutman on the scene in Laguna Woods, California, tonight. Tonight, police say 68-year-old David Chow walked into the Southern California church bearing two handguns and a political grudge. It is believed the suspect involved was upset about political tensions between China and Taiwan. Another night of mourning in Monterey Park. I'm grieving, and I didn't want to be alone. The community shattered after what was supposed to be a night of celebration. Today, the county coroner releasing the names of all 11 victims, including Valentino Alvera, a loving grandfather remembered as the life of the park. You have ten unresponsive inside. Police say 72-year-old Hu Can Tran first made entry after 10 on Saturday night in open fire. I hear the the noise. Bop, 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 bop. Just 20 minutes after fleeing the first scene, police say the gunman arrived at a second ballroom in El Hambra, where 26-year-old manager Brandon Say wrestled the weapon away, and the attacker fled. <laughs> Law enforcement sources say the 72-year-old Asian gunman's motives were likely personal. About 80 miles east of Monterey Park, investigators searched Tran's home for more clues. Police say they found hundreds of rounds of ammunition, a rifle, and materials for homemade firearm suppressors. Tran's ex-wife told CNN she met him at the Star Ballroom dance studio, where he used to volunteer and could be quick to anger. They divorced in 2006. That suspect, 66-year-old Shenley Zhao, made his first court appearance in a San Mateo County courtroom this afternoon. That's this video here. He was charged with seven counts of murder and one count attempted murder. He is accused of using a legally purchased semi-automatic handgun to shoot and kill seven in what the sheriff's office calls "quote workplace violence." Court documents show he had a history of threatening violence. Ten years ago, a co-worker filed a restraining order saying he threatened to kill him. The San Mateo, San Mateo County DA says today's charges also include a special circumstance charge for multiple murders at two locations. Under California law, that enhances the penalty. It adds, in a case like this, for each count, it adds 25 years to life. Facing seven counts of murder. Meanwhile, the San Mateo County Coroner's Office identified six of those seven victims. They range in age from 43 to 73. Some are from Half Moon Bay, others from San Francisco, and others from nearby Moss Beach. An eighth victim, a man, was wounded and was last reported in stable condition. So far, a clear motive is not known. And by the way, this was California's third mass shooting in eight days, including, of course, the 11 killed in Monterey Park. I'm done with you Asians who think having a race war with the black community is in our favor. No, it fucking is not. And y'all always want to bring up black people attacking Asians during the post-COVID era, which has happened a few times. But guess what, bitch? There are gonna be bad people in every race. Remember, anti-Asian is always rooted in white supremacy. 
but a person of any race can be influenced by white supremacy. So those black people that attacked us were subscribing to the white supremacist narrative that Asians caused COVID. And if you blame black people as a whole for the anti-Asian hate crime, you are subscribing to the white supremacist narrative that black people are inherently aggressive. And y'all Asians who are like, um, why aren't black people standing with us? Bitch, be grateful because they've always stood with us. Frederick Douglass in 1882 made the time to openly denounce the Chinese Exclusion Act while the black community was going through so much, such as rampant lynchings against them. They worked hand in hand with us to free the Japanese people in the internment camps in 1942. And we directly benefited from black-led civil rights movements every single time. So stop blaming and demanding things from them and unlearn your anti-blackness first. It's wrong, it's un-American, and it must stop.